the JAMA Network. Mike Mitchell has dealt with asthma since he was a child. I've gone from not being able to run basically a block as a seven-year-old to running half marathons now. Mike helps control his asthma with an inhaled steroid medication. It reduces the inflammation in his airways. He also had low vitamin D levels. Perhaps by replacing the vitamin D, we could actually help their medications work better, in particular inhaled steroids, and that that would help control that inflammation and control their asthma better. Dr. Mario Castro from Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis and co-authors looked at 408 adults, including Mike. Big deep breath. They all had symptomatic asthma requiring inhaled steroids along with low vitamin D levels. Half the participants were given high dose vitamin D supplements for a total of 28 weeks. The other half were given a placebo. There was no effect on asthma control and this was whether or not we looked at asthma exacerbations or their symptoms or their control of their asthma. All those things were not affected by replacing their vitamin D. The study appears in JAMA. Journal of the American Medical Association. Replacing vitamin D is not indicated in patients with asthma, even when their vitamin D levels are low. For Mike, his asthma isn't holding him back. I am living very well with the disease. Um, at this point in my life, it's very controlled. And I am looking forward to actually running in a full marathon this fall. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.